Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Sebastian Stadel, CEO and founder of Scalar. Welcome. Hey Jeff, how are you doing? Doing great. So tell me a little bit about why you decided to build Scalar. So the original, uh, the original founding of the Scalar idea is that um, at the time Amazon didn't have a web-based uh, console for, uh, for managing uh, all, all the, the various services like EC2 and S3 and, and the others. And, and so we made this web-based user interface and people found it useful, people started using it, and then found that they hit other limits. And those other limits would, would be, for example, I want to launch multiple instances at a time, I want to uh, define what availability zones, uh, what policy I want to have. And as you know, EC2 continuously innovated uh, with EBS volumes, elastic IP addresses, we had to continuously uh, build more management tools to be able to define the policies and the governance uh, for all this. So now what kind of customers are finding Scala useful? Um, right now we are, uh, we're having a lot of interest on the enterprise side. Uh, so we have uh, enterprise customers like, uh, like Samsung, we have uh, m many other ones. Um, and we find, find that uh, when you're managing more than 20 instances, um, you really start really needing a uh, cloud management solution, so that makes our job easier. Now what aspects of the, the cloud lifecycle do you handle with the product? Um, so we handle all the way from the from the deployment to the instances. So managing, like I need to deploy uh, this new jar file, I need to dis deploy this new uh, source package on 1,000 application servers simultaneously for so from deployment all the way to the um, to the continuous lifecycle. For example, I need to automate the failure recovery of some Percona MySQL uh, servers. Um, I need to reassign these EBS volumes or elastic IPs from one area to another to, to make a, a rolling update of some servers. Um, all that is it's a fairly comprehensive system to manage your, your cloud deployments. Mm -hmm. Now, does Scalar itself run on AWS? Uh, correct. Scalar uh, runs, actually, it's on a hybrid architecture. We have some dedicated servers, and we also have a fair amount of uh, servers on, on EC2. Uh, we also do all of our dev tests on EC2. Okay. So when your customers or potential customers come looking at Scalar, what part of it do you think is the most attractive to them? Um, a, lot of, a lot of customers don't have that much cloud expertise in the sense that they don't know what is the optimal way of running, say, MySQL or Postgres or Percona or the optimal way of running MongoDB uh, on the cloud. So we have a very prescriptive approach where we see how our customers are using it and we, and we see what, you know, the direction that Amazon is going and we say, and the tools that Amazon provides us, like uh, EBS volumes and now provisioned IOPS instances. So that allows us to be very prescriptive, meaning we prepare a packaged role, what we call a role. Um, it's a packaged way of deploying MySQL or, or some very mainstream services. And if you consume those, then uh, you get all the best practices that are taken from the uh, from Mo like TenGen's official Mongo page on how to run uh, how, how to run Mongo on. Um, on EC2, we, we take all these best practices and a lot of experience that we package. Um, so that's the primary reason for using Scalar right now, where um, you, you just get this, uh, you offload your operations uh, and the way to optimize for cloud uh, to the Scalar team. All right, well, I appreciate you coming by to speak with us and wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you very much, Jeff. It's been my pleasure. Take care. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.